soil at the bottom. They usually have large and flat leaves that float easily on water. Like hydrilla, water lily, lotus, water hyenage, thorny plants. Some plants have thorns on their stems. These thorns protect the plant from being eaten by animals. They have deep roots like lemon, rose, blackberry, bush. Desert plants. Some plants grow in desert or sandy soil. Their stems are fleshy. They have thorns to protect themselves from animals like cactus. Parts of a plant. A plant has many parts. Root. The root of a plant grows under the ground in the soil. It takes water and supply it to all other parts of a plant. Science fact. Roots hold the plant formally. Stem. The stem grows above the ground. It is usually green when small but later becomes brown when grow older. Leaves They make food for the plants. They are often called the kitchen of the plant. Flower this is the colorful part of a plant. It produces fruits or seeds. Fruit It grows from flowers. It is the fleshy part of a plant. Seed It contains a baby plant inside it. It is the part from which the plant grows. Life span of plants. All plants do not live for the same period of time. Most plants live for years like trees and shrubs. Some live for a very short period of time like maize, barley, peas, etc. These are called seasonal plants. Science fact. An apple tree may live for 100 years and an oak tree for 1000 years. Chapter 3 Plants Our Green Friends We call plants our green friends because they are very useful to us. They give us wood, medicines, fibers, fruits, sugar and so many other things. They also help to keep the air fresh and clean. We cannot live without plants. They also give food to many animals. Plants give us food. Most of the food we eat comes from plants. We eat different parts of a plant. Roots We eat roots of some plants like turnip, carrot, beetroot, radish. Stems We eat stems of some plants like leek, potatoes, ginger, sugarcane, leaves. We eat leaves of some plants, spinach, cabbage, mint, coriander. Flowers. We eat flowers of some plants like cauliflower, broccoli. Vegetables. We eat fruits of some plants as vegetables like brinjal, banana, tomato, pumpkin. Other food items. Seeds. We also eat grains and seeds of some plants like wheat, maize, 
French beans, peas, nuts. We eat nuts also. They are actually dry fruits with a very hard shell. They give us energy like almonds, walnuts, cashew nuts or pistachio. Spices We also obtain spices from plants like pepper, turmeric, red chilies, cumin seeds. Science Fact Spices give flavor to our food. Fruits We get many fruits from plants. We sometimes drink juices of these fruits like pear, lychee, mango, apple. Plants also provide us medicines. Many of the plants are medicinal plants. They provide us Ayurvedic medicines. Cinchona leaves are used for curing malaria. Neem leaves and its barks are used for skin diseases. Tulsi is used for treatment of cold and cough. Cinchona neem Tulsi Beverages Many plants give us coffee beans and tea leaves, so plants also provide us beverages. Fibers We get cotton and jute as fabric from deer plants. Also, we get rubber from rubber tree and gum from acacia tree. Coconut plant, jute plant, rubber tree, acacia tree or gum. Paper We get paper from bamboo tree. These days, papers are also made of leftover of squeezed sugarcane. Wood We all know that all the plants, whether medicinal or fruit plants, have wood. This wood of different trees is used for different purposes. Some are used as fuel to cook food, whereas some are used as timber to make furniture or other wooden objects like chair, pencil, chopping bowl, door. Protection and Shade We grow thorny plants as hedges. Trees spread like umbrella and give us shade. Science Fact We cannot imagine our life without plants. Apart from these, plants have many other uses. Other Uses of Plants Plants give us oil, plants give us perfume, some plants are used for making ornaments. We decorate our homes with flower and leaves. A bunch of flowers is called a bouquet which is given as a gift. Plants make our surroundings beautiful. Rubber is made from the white milk of the acacia tree. Chapter 4 Helpful Animals We tame some animals because they are useful to us. We keep them on farms or in the backyard of our homes. They are called domestic animals. Buffaloes, cows, donkeys, goats, camels and horses are some domestic animals. Animals give us food. Milk Cows, buffaloes, goats and sheep give us milk. Milk is a bodybuilding food. Camels and yaks also give us milk. Cow give us milk and we can make from it curd, ghee or paneer, cream and butter, cheese. Meat giving animals We get meat from many animals. Meat is also a bodybuilding food like hen, sheep, goat, 
pig, lamb, fish. Science fact. Fish are a rich source of protective food. Eggs. We get eggs from hens. Eggs are also bodybuilding foods. Eggs are also a good source of protective food. Honey. We get honey from honeybees. Honeybees collect nectar or flower juice from flowers and collect them in a beehive. We get honey from these beehives. Honey is a very good energy giving food. Animals give us clothing. Some animals help us with clothes. We get wool and fur from sheep and yak. We get leather from camels and silk from silkworms. Animals as means of transport. Camels, horses and elephants help us in transporting heavy loads from one place to another. Animals help us in agriculture. Cows, buffaloes and oxen help us in farming. Birds such as hens and ducks help in poultry farming. Horse cart, ox farming. Science fact. Raising of birds such as hens, turkeys, ducks and geese for domestic or sailing purpose is calling poultry farming. These birds are used for their meat, eggs and feathers. Chapter 5. Forest Animals Forests are home to many animals. Animals that live in deep and thick forests are called wild animals. We can see some wild animals in the zoo or in the national parks also. Lions, tigers, crocodiles, giraffes, elephants, owls and zebras are some wild animals. Big animals. Some animals are big in size like giraffe, elephant, lion, wild buffalo, deer. Medium sized animals. Some animals are neither very big nor very small in size like deer, fox, wolf, hyena, wild dog. Small animals. Some animals are small in size, like squirrel, frog, rat, octopus, fish. Science Fact Giraffe is the tallest animal, elephant is the largest animal on land, blue whale is the largest animal on the earth. Food of Wild Animals Different types of wild animals have different food habits. Herbivorous Some animals eat grass, plants and nuts. They are called herbivorous. Like elephant, giraffe, deer, rabbit, squirrel. Carnivorous Some animals eat flesh of other animals by hunting them. They are called carnivorous like loin, tiger, fox, crocodile, eagle. Omnivorous Some animals eat both plants as well as flesh. They are called omnivorous like bear, crow, monkey, dog, cat. Scavengers 
Some animals eat the flesh of dead animals. They help to keep the jungle clean. They are called scavengers. Like jackal, hyena, vulture. Animals live in groups. Group of lions called pride. Group of elephants called herd. Group of wolves called pack. Protection of wild animals. Forests are homes to wild animals. Cutting trees in forests destroy their homes. Many wild animals are killed by human beings for sport, food, skin, nails, and teeth. As a result, animals such as tigers, pandas, and Indian rhinoceros have become very few in number. We need to protect them. Endangered animals are kept safe in wildlife, sanctuaries and national parks. This helps in increasing their number. Science Fact Many years ago, animals such as dodo and quagga used to live on this earth. None of these animals are left now. They are extinct. Chapter 6 Housing and Clothing All the living things need to be safe from their enemies and changes in weather. Many of them make homes for themselves. Human beings too build houses to protect themselves from thieves, heat, cold, rain, wind, and animals. Houses also keep away dust, dirt, and insects. Types of Houses People make different types of houses to suit their needs. Pakka Houses Some houses are made of bricks, cement, iron, steel and other things. We cannot move them from one place to another. They are very strong and last for a long time. Such houses are called pakka or permanent houses. They are mostly found in towns and cities. Kacha Houses Kacha houses are mostly made of wood, mud, straw, clay, and bamboo. They are also called huts. They are mostly found in villages. Kacha houses are neither strong nor long lasting. They can be broken down and rebuilt easily. They are temporary houses. Other temporary houses Some people keep moving from one place to another. They build houses that can be moved. Such houses are also called temporary houses. Carven A carven is a mobile house. It can be moved easily from one place to another. Gypsies and people who work in circus usually live in these houses. Tents. A tent is usually made of canvas or cloth. It is used by campers, nomads, and soldiers. Houseboat. A houseboat is a wooden house made on a boat. It is a floating house found in the lakes or in Kashmir and Kerala. Special houses. Igloo. Igloo is a house built of snow. It is found in very cold places. Usually, Eskimos make igloos to live in. Stilt. A stilt house is made of long pieces of wood or metal. It is found in places where it rains very heavily 
and floods are common. Water cannot enter or wash away these houses as they are high above the ground. People living in hilly areas make houses with sloping roofs so that snow and water can slide down easily. A good house a good house must let in plenty of sunshine and fresh air. A good house must have trees nearby. How to keep a house clean? We must look after our house. We must keep it neat and clean. Empty out the waste paper basket every day. Do not throw things on the floor. Our clothes we wear clothes according to the weather. They protect us from the heat, rain, dust, insects and the cold. They make us look smart too. We should always wear clean and well ironed clothes. During summer, we wear cotton clothes. During winter, we wear woolen clothes. When we go out in the rain, we wear a raincoat. Chapter 7 We need food. We all need food. Food gives us energy, strength to work and play. It helps us to grow healthy and strong. Food groups Food can be divided into three groups. Energy giving foods Energy giving foods give us energy that is essential for our body. They also help our body to stay warm like wheat, rice, sugar, potato, butter. Bodybuilding foods Bodybuilding foods help us to grow big and strong. They build our bones and muscles. Milk and milk products Pulses, meat, eggs. Protective foods. Protective foods help us to stay healthy and fit. They help us to fight against diseases like fruits, vegetables, nuts. Science fact. We should eat foods from all the food groups every day. This is called healthy eating. Food habits Depending on their food habits, people can either be vegetarian or non-vegetarian. Vegetarians eat only plants and plant products. They do not eat meat and eggs. Non-vegetarians cook and eat meat of animals like goat and hen. They also eat eggs and some sea animals. Meals The proper food that we eat at a particular time of a day is called a meal. We should have at least three major meals in a day. Breakfast in the morning, lunch in the afternoon, dinner at night. Science fact. In between, we may have a small meal called snack. Follow these good food habits to be fit and healthy. Wash your hands before and after every meal. Always eat fresh and well-cooked food. Eat slowly and chew the food well. Do not eat junk food. Do not eat food from roadside hawkers. Eat plenty of fruits and vegetables. Drink two glasses of milk every day. Drink plenty of water. It helps in the formation of blood inside our body. It helps to throw out waste from the body. Do not skip your meals. Do not 
talk while eating chapter 8 bones and muscles our body is made up of blood bones flesh and muscles bones and muscles give shape to our body they also help our body to work the skeleton the framework of bones of our body is called the skeleton the skeleton lies under the skin it gives shape to our body without a skeleton we would not be able to stand straight bones bones are hard and tough some bones are big and some are small there are 206 bones in our body bones give our body shape and support joints the place where two or more bones are joined together is called a joint movement of our body takes place with the help of both joints and muscles science fact thigh bone is the longest bone in our body the smallest bone of the body is in the ear muscles the soft part below the skin is called muscles there are about 600 muscles in our body muscles cover our bones and help them to move the more we use our muscles the stronger they become type of muscles muscles are of different types like eye muscles heart muscles and stomach muscles regular exercise exercise is important for us we should exercise every day to make our muscles strong it also helps our body to grow muscles work together in groups exercise helps to tone up our muscles it also helps our body to breathe properly exercise makes blood flow quickly in our body playing outdoors jumping skipping dancing cycling etc are good exercises good posture posture is a position in which we set our body while sitting standing or moving moving posture walk with your back erect keep your head up move your arms freely walk with your knee and ankle free sitting posture keep your back straight keep your chest up Do not bend your shoulders. Keep your feet flat on the floor. Standing posture. Always stand erect with your back straight. Keep your chest out. Keep your feet flat on the ground. Keep your chin in. A good posture also helps us to breathe properly, look smart and stay healthy. 
science fact we do not have bones in our tongue eyelids and the ear lobes chapter 9 keeping safe accidents take place when we are careless they can cause injury and harm to our body to save ourselves from accidents and injuries we should be very carefully there are some rules and methods which help us to be safe they are called safety rules safety rules on the road do not run on the road look at both of your sides before crossing a busy road always walk on the footpath or at the left side of the road cross the road through the subway or the zebra crossing cross the road through the zebra crossing only when the traffic signal go red don't ride your bicycle too fast safety rules in a car and in a bus don't try to get in or get off the moving bus or car don't put your arm or head out of the moving bus or car don't disturb the driver while he or she is driving always wear safety belts always get into the car or bus from the footpath side safety rules at home keep your toys at their proper place don't climb on the shelves or window sills be careful while climbing up or down the stairs report to an adult quickly if you get hurt take only prescribed medicines don't play with sharp objects don't touch electric wires or plugs don't touch electric appliances don't open the door to strangers safety rules in the playground always play in the park or playground don't fight or hurt each other while playing don't pluck flowers or leaves they may hurt you don't play with stray animals do not play near pool or tank if you want to swim go with your elders or trainers Don't touch or pick the unknown things lying in the playground. Go to the swing with elders. First aid. First aid kit. First aid is the immediate help given to somebody who has been injured or fallen ill before medical help is available. Chapter 10 We need water More than half of the earth's surface is covered with water and the rest is land All living things need water to live we need water for drinking cooking washing bathing etc Plants need water to make food animals need water for drinking and bathing Use of water We use water for various purposes: drinking, washing, bathing, swimming, cooking. Water is our basic need. Sources of water: surface water. The main source of water is rain. When it rains, the rain water fills the rivers, lakes, ponds, streams, and seas. 
this also fills in the puddles it is called the surface water we build dams and canals to reserve water for later use ground water some rain water seeps deep into the ground to get this water we dig wells tube wells or use hand pumps the water we use in our houses is obtained from both surface and ground water apart from these sources we get water from high mountains which are covered with snow and ice the snow and ice melt into water during the summer season this water flows into the streams and rivers a lot of water is present in seas and oceans but it contains many dissolved salts so it is not fit for drinking or other purposes drinking water the water obtained from different sources is not fit for drinking it contains many impurities and germs drinking such water can make us ill the water we drink should be clean and germ free the most common way to clean water is boiling boiling kills the germs present in the water we can also clean water by using a water filter and water purifier water should be stored in clean and closed containers saving water water is very precious we must not waste it when it rains we should save that rain water in buckets drums or tanks this saved water can be used for washing clothes or utensils watering plants etc we should not let taps running while brushing our teeth we should turn them off science fact The human blood has 83% of water, brain has 75% of water and bones have 25% of water. Chapter 11 Forms of Water We studied about different sources of water also we studied that these sources are rivers ponds mountains covered with ice etc. Water is present all around us. 75% of our body weight is water. Different forms of water. Water is found in three different forms. Solid form, freezing water, melting ice. In solid form, water exists as ice. Water below 0 degrees Celsius changes into ice. The process of conversion of water into ice is called freezing. When ice is kept outside, it changes into water again. The process of conversion of ice into water is called melting. Liquid form In liquid form water is very important for living being this liquid form of water is used to meet our daily needs like drinking bathing watering planting cooking gaseous form in this form water is heated on fire and as it begins and as it begin to gets hotter it starts evaporating up in the form of water vapors 
the process of water changing into vapor is called evaporation of water whereas the process of water vapor changing to water drops is called condensation of water the water cycle During the day the sun warms up the water in ponds lakes rivers and seas and other water bodies this water changes into water vapor the water vapor rises up in the air it is cool here and it changes into tiny drops of water these water drops join together to form clouds these clouds become heavy and there are more water drops in big clouds they fall on earth surface in the form of rain the rain water flows back into ponds lakes rivers and seas this water again gets heated by sun it again goes up and forms clouds in this way the water cycle goes on and on in nature thus water cycle is a journey of water from the earth to the sky and back to the earth science fact water trapped in glaciers and ice caps can be millions of year old it is the purest form of water on the earth save water water is precious we can save water in the following ways turn off the taps when not in use collect and use rain water take a bath with the bucket and not with the shower Tell your parents to get the leakage taps repaired. Leftover water after washing clothes can be used later to wash the lawn, etc. Waste water from water purifier can be used for washing dishes, etc. Chapter 12 Air around us Air is all around us. All living beings need air to breathe. We cannot live without air. Air is made up of many gases. Oxygen is one of them. We cannot see or touch air. We can only feel it. Moving air is called wind. When wind blows gently, it is called breeze. When wind blows very fast it is called storm it usually comes with the thunder lightning and rain and generally blow things away properties of air there are four properties of air they are air has force moving air has a lot of force in it it blows everything that comes in its way it can even uproot trees and blow sheds off houses air has direction air always blow in a direction This can be seen in the movement of flags hoisted on the temple top or leaves of trees moving in a direction. Air has speed. Strong wind has a very high speed. It can change the direction of things like air balloons, kites, smokes etc air fills space 
when our balloon is blown we see nothing inside but still it can be seen becoming big it is actually air in it that fills the balloon giving it a shape apart from these properties there are some other things that air contains let us study about them content of air air contains a lot of particles like dust smoke gases water vapors germs etc such air is harmful to breathe let us study how air contains germs air has a number of very small living particles which cannot be seen some of these living particles are disease causing germs they enter in our body when we breathe and make us sick Air contains smoke and dust particles. Air picks up dust while we clean our house and other surroundings. Dust also mixes the air when the wind blows. When wood or other materials are burned, Smoke goes up and mixes with the air. Smoke is also given out by industries and transports. Air contains water vapor. When we put clothes in the sun, the sun heats the water in the clothes and changes it into water vapor air contains many gases air is a mixture of many gases oxygen carbon dioxide and nitrogen are important gases in the air all living things need air to live we need air to breathe air pollution mixing of unhealthy things in the air is called air pollution polluted air is not good for health we must breathe pure and fresh air we must keep doors and windows of our houses open to let fresh air in science fact CNG stands for compressed natural gas. Buses and autos run on CNG, so they do not release smoke and pollute the air. Good air is clean air. Clean air is good for health. We need fresh air to keep ourselves healthy. The air we breathe should be free from pollution. we can get fresh air if we plant trees near our houses to get fresh air we should play in the open ground and sometime near the plants and trees plants give out oxygen while making their food they also give out water vapor this keep the air moist Growing more trees is one way of keeping the air fresh and clean. Science fact: We will be more healthy if the air we breathe is fresh and clean. Chapter 13: Weather and Seasons. There are 365 days in a year. but the weather is not same on all days it changes from day to day it may be sunny cold windy cloudy or rainy the change in weather is caused by sun wind clouds and rain 
a sunny day, a cloudy day, a windy day, a stormy day, a rainy day, a cold day. Now, when one type of weather stays for many days or months, we call it a season. In India, there are five seasons in a year. They are summer, winter and rainy seasons as main seasons. Spring and autumn comes in between these three main seasons. Summer season In summer we feel hot. It is the hottest time of the year. The sun shines very brightly. We wear cotton clothes to keep us cool. We like to drink cold water and eat ice creams also to keep ourselves healthy and hydrated all the time we should eat juicy fruits and vegetables we should drink a lot of water and wear clothes of light color so that we do not feel hot winter season in winter we feel cold it is the coldest time of the year. The sun is rarely visible. It remains mostly covered in fog or by clouds. We wear woolen clothes in this season. Also, we eat more dry fruits to keep us warm and drink tea and coffee too. We apply different lotions on our body to keep it hydrated and to not get dry. We also cover our heads with caps and mufflers. Rainy season Monsoon brings a lot of rain. On a rainy day, everything is wet and slippery. It is always cloudy, cool, winds blow all the time. We should avoid junk food in this season, especially because of rain. Many rainy insects are born at this time. This may lead to infection. We may fall sick. We wear raincoats to cover our body. In case we have to go out, we wear gum boots too. We should always carry an umbrella in our bags during this season. Spring season Especially in India we have two more seasons that last for only few days or lesser than other main seasons spring or basant is the time of the year when the weather is very pleasant During this season the weather is not much hot or cold. In India, during this season, kites can be seen flying in the sky. We see beautiful flowers blooming and colorful butterflies flying here and there. Autumn season Dry leaves fall off the tree in the autumn season. Like spring, in autumn too, the weather is very much balanced. It is not too cold or too hot. This season like spring season lasts only for few days or lesser than other main seasons. We usually see dry leaves fallen off from the trees on the ground. The trees remain barren. New leaves flowers and fruits arrive with the arrival of season. Chain of season in India December, January, early February Winter season, late February, March, spring season, April, May, June, summer season, July, August, September, rainy season and October, November, 
ஆட்டம் சீசன் seasons walk like a chain there is one or the other season going on this chain tells us about the period of time for a season science fact weather forecasters tell us what the weather would be like chapter 14 environment Our environment consists of air, soil, water, animals, plants, sun and all other natural things around us. They are our sources. We need all these to live. Hence, we should not waste them or spoil them. We can play an important role in saving our environment. air we should not burn plastic bags we should use cng for our vehicles environment consists of air air is useful for our survival so if we breathe polluted air it harms us and makes us fall sick we should not burn plastic and other things as it makes the air polluted we should keep a check on our vehicle that make the air polluted we should not burn garbage because it pollutes air soil we should plant more trees we have soil as another important part of our environment soil should not be left unplanted we should plant more and more trees to help soil regain its lost nutrients and to absorb the absorbable waste like dry leaves fallen from trees rain water cow dung etc soil regains its nutrients by absorbing waste water water is an important part of our environment we need water to survive water is important for plants and trees too we need water to cook our food water is used in many other ways also we should save water by turning off the tap when not in use we should adopt some water saving methods like turning off the tap that is not in use we should make big tanks beneath our houses to save rain water we should use leftover water from washing clothes to clean our house etc apart from these there are a lot of other things that make our environment dirty and to keep our environment clean and healthy we should follow some necessary steps things like plants trees animals etc cannot keep care of themselves and the environment they live in so we as human being should help them take care of them as well as of our environment science fact worldwide fund for nature wwf is an organization that work towards saving wildlife save environment save water don't make the air polluted conserve electricity say no to plastic manage the kitchen waste use reusable products chapter 15 rocks and minerals 
The outer layer of the earth is made up of rocks and minerals. Rocks can be found almost everywhere. Rocks Rocks are big or small pieces of mountains. They are hard and solid and found everywhere. Earth is mostly made up of rocks. They are different from one another in size, shape and color. Some rocks are hard while some are soft. Some rocks are rough and some are smooth and shiny. Kinds of rocks Different kinds of rocks are marble, granite, sandstone, slate, coal and limestone. Marble Marble is also a hard rock. It comes in different colors like gray, cream, pink, green, etc. But the pure marble is a white color. Marble is also used to make buildings and statues. People also make marble flooring to make their house look a bit more luxurious. Taj Mahal is made up of white marble. Science Fact Rajasthan is famous for marbles. Sandstone As the name suggests, Sandstone is made up of sand particles. This rock is mostly yellow or red in color. It is a hard rock. Sandstones are generally used to make buildings. In India, especially many of our historical monuments are made by these stones like the Red Fort, Fatehpur Sikri, etc. Granite Granite is a rough rock. It can be of red, green or grey color. It does not break easily. This rock is basically used for flooring sometimes and as kitchen slabs mostly. Also, granite is used to make buildings like the sandstone in India. One of our precious historical monument, Raj Ghar, is made up of granite rock. Also, granite is used to make sculptures or statues by carving it with different tools. These are some of soft rocks. Slate Roof of hilly houses are made up of slate. Chalks are made up of limestone. In kitchen, it is used for cooking. Coal is used as a fuel to run the train engines also. Minerals There are certain substances that form naturally in rocks. These substances are called minerals. All the rocks are made up of minerals. Most of the rocks have two or more minerals. They are of different forms, shapes, sizes and shapes. These are needed to make a variety for our day-to-day -day life. Coal Coal is used as a fuel to burn fire for cooking purpose, especially. Talc Talc is the softest mineral weight available. This is usually used as talcum powder and also in other beauty products. Silica Silica is a mineral that is specially used to make mirrors. It is accompanied by silver to make us see our reflection. Quartz Quartz is a very common mineral. 
it is mostly used to make dials of the watches. Mika. Mika is another very common mineral. It is basically used as sheet to cover any plywood furniture. The Mika sheets are layered with very closely bounded Mika minerals. Gold and Silver Both Gold and silver are expensive minerals. They are mostly used to make jewelry. Diamond Diamond is the most expensive mineral. Also, it is the hardest mineral. It is also used to make jewelry and also sometimes to cut glasses. Clay Clay is often called China clay. It is basically used to make crockery, teapots, small decorative sculptures, etc. Iron, graphite, and tungsten. Iron is used in structuring a building to make iron gateways, railing, etc. Graphite is a soft grey colored mineral. Lead is made up of graphite, which we use in pencils. Tungsten is used to make filaments in a light bulb. Gemstones Gemstones are also as expensive as gold, silver and diamond and like them they are also used in jewelry. These minerals are different in color and are worn in different shapes. Emerald, Ruby, Sapphire Science Fact Rocks can be big or small, soft and hard. Rocks are obtained from mountains. Rocks that are hard are used to make buildings. Rocks are made up of two or more minerals. Minerals are used to make day-to-day -day stuff. Minerals are expensive too, like diamonds, ruby, gold, etc. Chapter 16 The Earth and Beyond The Earth and The Earth is a planet. It is a unique planet in the solar system as it is the only planet that has life on it. The Earth is spherical in shape. Beyond the Earth The Earth is not the only heavenly body that revolves in the universe. Sun, Moon, stars, etc. are some other heavenly bodies available in the universe. The Sun The Sun is a huge body that is much bigger in size than the Earth itself. 
It is round in shape like a ball. It appears very small from the earth because of the distance. Our earth revolves around the sun. The moon We see the moon at night. It is much smaller than the earth. Again, because of the distance, the size of the moon looks the same as of the sun. Our earth is 50 times larger than the moon. The moon is an artificial satellite. It gets its light from the sun. The stars We see stars twinkle all over the sky in the night. These are very very big in size but because of their distance from the earth they appear very small. The stars emit their own light. The sun is also a star. The stars are there in the sky all day. But because the sun shines very brightly during the day, we see the stars at night only. Revolution and Rotation Revolution of Earth around the sun causes change in seasons. It takes 365 days and 6 hours for the earth to revolve around the sun. Revolution is basically moving on a fixed path around the sun. This fixed path is called orbit. Rotation of earth happens when it spins around itself towards the east. The rotation of the earth on its own axis causes day and night. Rotation of the earth happens on its own axis. The part of the earth while rotating towards the sun has day and the part away from it has night. The earth is made up of water and land. About one third part of it covered with water and remaining is land. Also the earth is surrounded by a layer of air which is called the atmosphere. Science Facts The sun is the biggest star in the solar system. Layers of Atmosphere Exosphere Thermosphere Mesosphere Stratosphere Troposphere Science Facts One rotation of the earth is equal to 24 hours is equal to one day. The North Pole and the South Pole alternatively have daylight for six months when the sun doesn't seem to set. 70% of earth is covered with water. The earth has hot rocks of boiling gases and liquids under its surface. Chapter 17 The Sunlight and the Shadow The sun is the main source of energy on the earth. It looks like a big ball of fire. It gives us heat and light too. It rises in the east in the morning and sets in the west in the evening. Science Fact The sun looks small because it is far far away from us. The Sunlight
the light that comes from the sun is called the sunlight this light comes in the form of rays on the earth these sun rays help the clothes to get dry ocean water to evaporate and make clouds in the presence of the sunlight plants prepare their food and grow big Sunlight and sun rays are very important for life on earth. Sunlight is the natural light which enables us to look around us. It helps to get rid of darkness. Also sun rays are used to generate solar energy. The shadows The shadow is a region of darkness. It is formed on the opposite side of the source of light. 